Happy Feet is one of my favorite movies to talk about. Not one of my favorites to watch, one of my favorites to talk about. The strange cross between Madagascar and March of the Penguins was an absolute fever dream of a film that featured everything a CGI blockbuster needed to succeed in the mid-2000s. An Odyssey-like story, a popular licensed song that could be tied to the film's identity, and penguins. But that's not what makes it interesting. Instead, it's the things you don't see in Happy Feet that make it so unique. For example, did you know that the director behind this dancing penguin movie was George Miller, the eclectic mastermind behind both Babe Pig in the City and the Mad Max series? Did you know that the original script was decidedly more gritty, with the penguins swearing and bleeding all over the place? And most importantly, did you know about... The aliens. You might think I'm referring to the humans in the film, who the penguin characters call aliens, but I promise that's not the case. I'm talking about actual aliens. Aliens that live in a big creepy ship in outer space. Aliens in control of a planet harvesting super weapon that's aimed directly at the Earth. Aliens at the end of Happy Feet. Well, sort of. See, the plot of Happy Feet is centered around environmental conservation, with the starring penguins facing a food shortage due to overfishing by humans. It ends with the penguins tap dancing as a group in order to communicate their plight to the world at large, but their message was originally supposed to send a bit further out, with a crew of aliens seeing the dance from deep space. While it sounds unbelievable, these aliens were more than just a strange note from an initial pitch meeting, and would have served as the culmination of Happy Feet's environmentalist themes, as well as its underlying sci-fi influence. These ideas were present until just before the film was released, and because of that, evidence of their existence can be found in production material, promotional tie-ins, and the finished product itself. On today's Lost Media Monday, I want to go over that evidence as I talk about one of my personal favorite pieces of lost or discarded film production. Do aliens exist? Is George Miller a madman? Let's find out as we look at the original, out-of-this-world ending for Happy Feet and the mysterious aliens within it. Remember to like, subscribe, comment with any other lost media ideas you want to see, or just let me know your favorite kind of penguin. Personally, I'm a big fan of Gentoons. Happy Feet's mysterious alien characters were always present throughout production of the film, going as far back as the initial script. In this version, the penguins and their dance is still the climactic moment, and the humans are still referred to as aliens. The appearance of actual extraterrestrials is saved for the film's final few minutes. As the story ends, Mumble, the main penguin, thinks about his new chick and the world she'll face, and states that there are still things out there that nobody understands. As this happens, the camera zooms out to reveal Earth in a bomb site, seemingly about to be destroyed. Within an armed spaceship, two hidden figures are about to harvest a star supporting Earth's atmosphere, but upon discovering the existence of Earth's penguins and seeing them dance, the duo find themselves amused and decide to complete their work in a different part of the galaxy instead. As they leave their observatory, a light catches their silhouettes, revealing their appearance to be that of extraterrestrial penguins, with one doing a small tap dance move as the film fades to credits. It may seem out of left field, but the aliens, and their ultimate choice not to destroy the Earth, served as a consolidated version of the film's messages about environmental responsibility, with their conscious decision not to steal the planet's resources for their own personal use, mirroring the human's relationship with penguins on a grand scale. While the ridiculous curveball and redundant emphasis on the film's themes make this scene seem like an obvious choice to be cut before release, there's evidence that it wasn't such a simple decision, and that these alien characters may have been present until the very last second. Looking at the final film itself, an underlying sci-fi aesthetic leads to strange moments that never quite pay off, including shots that zoom out to Earth's atmosphere, penguins that talk like HAL 9000, You're in heaven, Dave and a credit sequence that takes place almost entirely in space, with the penguin characters dancing in front of the stars. With the aliens, these images would have served as foreshadowing for the film's final reveal, but without them, these moments only serve as distaff window dressing for a replacement level penguin movie. But while the aliens may not have made first contact with Happy Feet itself, their presence in its production and spin-off material still gives us reason to believe that there's more to find in the great expanse of the universe. The Happy Feet universe, that is.
A pre-iPhone mobile game developed by Artificial Life Inc. for release in Japan is one example that's particularly interesting. As a minigame compilation, this Happy Feet adaptation followed the film's final plot and designs almost entirely faithfully, with only one notable exception. In the game, the aliens arrive. Following the game's final stage, a cutscene would play that showed a flying saucer looking over the earth. While the aliens themselves don't make a physical appearance, their dialogue seems to mirror the conversation from the original script, with the crew deciding not to harvest the stars keeping Earth alive after seeing the penguins. What's especially noteworthy is that the game wasn't even announced for development until 2007, nearly a year after Happy Feet's release. This would mean script, plot, and character information sent to Artificial Life Inc. a year after Happy Feet hit theaters still included the aliens and their intended role in the film, and serve as evidence that cutting their scene was a last-minute decision. The aliens would have their moment, though, appearing as part of a SIGGRAPH 2007 panel titled Happy Feet, thawing the CGI pipeline. Held a year after the film's release, this presentation from animation studio Animal Logic was live blogged at the time by Brooks Boyd and showcased concept art from Happy Feet's production. Within the first 10 minutes, Boyd seems confused by darker looking imagery that they felt strayed from what was represented in the final film. Most interestingly, at 5:58 p.m., 8 minutes after beginning their blog, Boyd describes the following. Some of the concept art is for Spaceship Interior, options 1 through 3. I don't remember a spaceship in the movie. They've also got some concept for an ethereal looking penguin, like what appeared over the heads of the dads at the beginning of the movie while they were singing in the night. But I don't actually remember meeting alien penguins. Boyd quickly moves on as the panel continues, with no recordings of this presentation or public availability of the materials presented. Boyd's blog provides the only description of the alien penguin's appearance, as well as proof that there are actual production materials focusing on these characters. Though it is worth noting that the metaphysical penguins appearing at the start of the movie are just big, regular penguins. As of 2022, this panel and the concept art within it are still considered lost, and only small amounts of additional art have leaked in the 16 years since Happy Feet's release. Through those years, though, two pieces emerged that would spark interest in the dropped alien subplot. The first is an honestly terrifying matte painting from artist David Woodland, showing faces carved into rocks beneath the water. After contacting Woodland, however, he told me that the piece was for a proposed dream sequence, which likely means the faces are meant to be nightmarish representations of the film's humans rather than the actual aliens. The second piece only started circulating around the end of 2020, and shows something separate from what was described by Boyd. While it doesn't reveal the look of the alien penguins or their ship, this concept art from Animal Logic shows an idea for the alien weapon, with bright futuristic architecture and a hologram projector that can seemingly zoom into specific locations on Earth. To date, this is the only piece of art focusing on the aliens to make its way to the public, and gives us our clearest look at the potential style of the characters hidden in the film. Currently, no further concept art or pieces from the scene have found their way online, and any attempts to look through portfolios of artists on the film, such as Philip Whiteley, who headed the art direction, have turned up nothing of interest. However, the appearance of these mysterious characters in concept art and video games, as well as remaining hints to their presence in the film, serve as a clear message that there's more to find about the aliens, their ship, and the sequence as a whole. Happy Feet's Aliens stand as one of the most wild pieces of lost media I've personally heard about, and the realistic possibility of finding more about them makes it an exciting topic to cover. With the amount of evidence in the final product, and clear search lines giving us paths to more, it's safe to say that aliens definitely do exist, at least in the Happy Feet universe. For now though, this has been another Lost Media Monday. Until the next one, live long and prosper. Hey guys, thanks for watching. This is a video I've been wanting to do for a long time, and I'm kind of shocked no one beat me to it. If you want to see more videos about lost media, or media production in general, check out my channel. I make all these videos myself, and I'm thankful for any amount of time you're willing to waste watching them. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay tuned. Thanks.